As the summer transfer window approaches, clubs across the globe are beginning to strategize on how to bolster their squads for the next season. For the football powerhouses looking to add to their midfield, one name will be at the top of their list, Yunus Musa. Yunus Musa, delicate with the pass, Lino! Yunus Musa with a pass of real craft here, lifting it over the... The 20-year-old American international has made quite a name for himself. It has bolstered his value in the transfer market despite Valencia's difficult season fighting relegation. Yunus Musa's journey to become one of the brightest prospects available this transfer window has more passport stamps than most. Born in New York City to Ghanaian parents, his childhood reads like a global adventure with soccer as the guiding compass. At 20 years old, Musa seems destined to continue his globetrotting and return to the place that made him. England. US fans will know all about Yunus Musa and his talents, but fan bases across the world are about to discover something very special. Musa's finesse on the field, combined with his tactical acumen, has caught the attention of some of the biggest clubs in Europe. A few clubs in particular are keenly interested in the young American. Arsenal, Liverpool, and Manchester City stand at the top of this list. In today's post-COVID transfer market, it's very difficult for the biggest clubs to still buy developing prospects because the prospects want to make sure that they're getting playing time to develop, but the big clubs want to capture them before anyone else is able to. For clubs like Manchester City and Arsenal, the finished products are going to be a safer bet than most, but they're going to come at an exponentially higher cost. Yunus Musa is not quite a finished product yet, but he is as close as you might get to that without tipping into the Jude Bellingham and Declan Rice territory. Today, let's take a look at what makes him a special player, and why he'll be one of the most wanted players no matter the price come this summer. Yunus Musa is a 20-year-old American international, a former Arsenal Academy graduate now playing in Spain. He has turned heads in European football with his remarkable first touch and dribbling abilities. Musa's first touch is nothing short of exceptional. For the casual fan, think of the first touch as the player's initial contact with the ball once it comes to them. A good first touch can set you up for the next move, whether it's a pass, a shot, or a dribble. A bad one can result in loss of possession. In Musa's case though, his first touch often seems magnetized to his boots, providing an immediate advantage. He can control high-speed passes effortlessly and his ability to bring the ball down from the air is reminiscent of some of the game's greats. His first touch isn't just about control though, it's about direction. He often uses his first touch to orient himself towards the goal or take the ball away from an oncoming defender. This active first touch is a potent weapon in his arsenal, often creating opportunities where there appear to be none before. His first touch into space or into the next best area is one of his best talents often dipping his shoulder to pull an oncoming defender to one side and then deftly taking his first touch away from that space, it's a thing of beauty when done right. After the first touch comes the dribbling, and Musa's dribbling ability is a spectacle to behold. For my soccer nerds out there, his dribbling technique, agility, and balance are textbook perfect, while casual fans will simply just enjoy the thrill of watching him weave through defenders. Musa often uses his quick and precise footwork to navigate through tight spaces and evade challenges, displaying an excellent balance between pace and control. He's also equally comfortable dribbling with both feet, which makes him very unpredictable and difficult to defend against. The dribbling ability is not just about individual brilliance though, it has a means to an end, and it's a significant asset for team play. By drawing defenders towards him, Musa creates space for his teammates, disrupting the opponent's defensive shape and creating opportunities for his team to score. With Musa on the team, the dynamics of an attack can significantly shift. His superior first touch allows him to retain possession under pressure, and his dribbling ability can help unlock stubborn defenses. His ability to control and manipulate the ball quickly can often be the difference between a successful counterattack or a lost opportunity. His dribbling can attract multiple defenders, freeing up space for his teammates and providing them with more time and options in the final third. Across all of the top five leagues in Europe, Yunus Musa is one of the top midfielders in the world at shot-creating actions. A shot-creating action is really any move that leads directly to a shot on goal, so if Musa makes a pass or a dribble that leads to a teammate shooting, that's a shot-creating action. I think what's most impressive about Yunus Musa's development is while he does rank highly in the top percentiles for midfielders across the top five leagues in dribbles, 
progressive passes and shot creating actions. Arsenal and Manchester City will be salivating to see a 20 year old player with La Liga and World Cup experience that can instantly bring quality to their build up play. I think we can add Liverpool to this bucket. Interested in Yunus Musa as more of a box to box contributor. And surprisingly, Musa ranks highly in tackles one and many defending statistics that you would attribute to more true number eights. Yunus Musa is an attacking gem in the midfield, but I do think he can develop his game to be a more rounded player. His combination of a world-class first touch and exceptional dribbling skills can be a game changer in the Premier League. A player with these abilities can drastically improve a team's attacking efficiency and potency, making him a valuable asset to any elite club in the world. If you're looking at what Yunus Musa could be in his prime, I would look to two main examples, Paul Pogba and Musa Dembele. Now, if we look on fbref.com, which tracks all of the statistics and comparable players, there's three that I want to highlight. The first is Gavi, the wonder kid at Barcelona, who's valued at almost $90 million. Wolves' Matthias Nunez, who's valued at over $50 million. And Brentford's Josh Da Silva, who's at a more modest $15 million. It's rumored that Arsenal are willing to start their negotiations for Yunus Musa at $60 million. Now, I don't know how much I really believe those rumors at the moment, but I do think Musa is easily going to go north of $30 million. And the prospect of returning to Arsenal might be appealing to Yunus Musa. It offers an opportunity to rejoin a club that he's comfortable and happy with, while also joining a club that's set to play in the Champions League. And I think for Yunus Musa's development, that is the next step. He's shown he can do it in La Liga in one of the best leagues in the world. He's shown that he can get it done against the best international teams in the world on the World Cup stage. I really think what's next is his ability to test himself against the best in the world in the Champions League. It does have to be said that the next club's gain is going to be Valencia's huge loss. But for Musa, it does seem inevitable that he's gonna move this summer. At this stage in his career, he needs to be competing at the highest level, testing himself against the best and growing himself as a player. Now, did you know that Yunus Musa isn't the only American in La Liga making waves this season? Watch this video next to see why Celta's Luca De La Torre might've been the steal of the summer of the 2022 transfer window.